Hello guys, welcome to the 8th tutorial on learning PIC microcontrollers with MPLAB X and XC8 compiler. In our last tutorial, we learned how to display custom characters on a 16 cross 2 LCD screen, the tutorial which I'm showing you right here. So in this tutorial, we'll see how to interface a 7 segment display. So if you're completely new to this tutorial, please visit circuitages.com. I'll provide the link in the description and you'll have all the tutorials on how to get started with your PIC microcontroller and X8 compiler. So these are the tutorials which we have covered so far. We started from how to install your MPLAB IDE and your X8 compiler onto your PC and then how you can simulate your programs and then how you can actually make a dot board on which you can test your programs and we saw how to blink we learned how to use timers and then proceeded with LCD now we started with a seven segment display if you want to know how a seven segment really works and how a four digit seven segment display can be interfaced with your PIC microcontrollers what are the pinouts of a seven segment display how you can write code line by line and all those explanations you have to visit circuitdigest.com again and read through my complete tutorial which I'm showing you right here so this tutorial will be posted in circuit digest and the link for this tutorial will be given in your video description okay now let us straightly jump into our program. I'll show you the program and the output of the seven segment display. Before that, I'll show you where I got the seven segment display. So um, this was bought from Robomart and uh, this this is the one which I'm using for this tutorial and it's pretty cheap. 99 rupees is a decent price. And uh, okay, I'll show you the output. Here it is, the module which I bought from Robomart is connected with a PIC microcontroller, some decent connections that is you just have to connect the signal pins and your data pins and then with some decent programming your module will be working in no time. Now let us see how to program it. I have the MPLAB X opened over here. So what kind of program I have written here is uh, I have incremented a variable called I from 0 to 1000 so and it will be displayed on the 7 segment display so as you can see it is being incremented so it is being incremented from 434 to 435 now so it is being incremented it will go all the way up to 1000 and it will again initialize itself to 0 so this is just a tutorial on how to show you how you can display 4 continuous digits on a 4 digit 7 segment display because the problem with it is each seven segment display will have 10 output pins one is for your common ground if it is a common cathode uh, seven segment display and the other nine will be your data pins so if you want to display four digits it will be four seven segment modules all together and you'll have around 40 pins but that is not how our microcontroller will work because our microcontroller itself has only 40 pins so we can't dedicate all those 40 pins of course you won't be able to do it so it's totally impossible so what we do is we kind of cheat the user to show him that we are displaying all the four digits together but actually it doesn't happen so what happens is it displays one digit at a time so even here it displays 0 4 6 2 but it just displays one digit at a time so it displays 0 turns it off it displays 4 turns it off it displays 6 turns it off it displays 6 again and turns it off but we'll be able to view all these four digits together because the time taken for the LCD to turn itself off is very very slow so what happens is it will ask it to turn it off but it will come all the cycle it will travel all the way from 0 4 7 3 and it will again fall back to 0 again so the by by the time it comes again the L LCD the LED light won't be able to turn it off in that particular time so if you want to really see how it is being turned off and turned on that's a simple trick you just have to mm, give some high intensity light over here so I have focused my webcam onto the seven segment display I'll just increase the webcams light see once I put enough light on it you can see that the digits are actually being dimmed each time so the zero is being updated every time with the interval of 100 milliseconds I'll show you how it is done in the program but I just want you to understand how it is actually working so the actual working behind this seven segment display is each and every individual digit is being turned on and turned off consequently in a very fast way so that the user won't be able to see it is being turned on and turned off so only if you put a high intensity light and view it on a webcam or a, any other camera modules you will be able to see it if you're seeing it with your naked eyes you won't be able to find any difference and you won't be able to predict that it's being turned on and turned off now let me dim the light again okay see it looks as it as if it is stable but 
and the background process it's being turned on and turned off okay now let's look into the program the program is really really simple if you just understand few basic information so if you want to completely understand the program i request you to read the tutorial by following the link in the description now let's jump into the void main we have uh, four integers let's leave it off the main important thing over here is the array that is being declared called segment array so this segment array has all the equivalent hex values so for example if you want to display a numeric value of six the equivalent value of six will be stored in this segment value and the address will be six itself so for example if we call segment of zero the hex value of zero x three f will be executed and the and it will display zero onto the seven segment display so that's it so each and every hex value of each and every numeric characters from 0 to 9 is being stored in this segment array and then we initialize the io pins so as i said earlier one seven segment display will have um, 10 output pins so 10 output pins in which nine of them are data lines so a b c d e f g is dedicated for data lines and then here in this defined part there will be one common cathode pin for each and every seven segment display so this is the cathode pin used to turn on and turn off the display so the cathode pin of the first display is connected to rc0 which i call it as s1 over here and similarly the other segments uh, cathode pins are called as s2 s3 and s4 respectively now i have initialized my io pins and then i have to split the digit for example if the value of i is four four six five say for example now i can't ask my microcontroller to process all these four digits together so i have to split it into each and individual uh, i have to split it into individual digits so that i can display it on my seven segment display so that is being done by using the modulus and division operation you just have to follow the steps and you will be able to understand so here the first digit is stored inside the variable g the second digit is stored inside the variable e and the third digit is stored inside the variable c and the fourth digit is being stored inside the variable a now as i explained you earlier we can't display all the four digits together so what we do is we ask the microcontroller to display one digit turn it off move on to the second digit display it and then turn it off similarly till the fourth digit and then come back to the first digit again so that's what i'm doing here we turn on display one and then print the fourth digit and then we turn it off after five milliseconds delay so this five millisecond delay is something which you have to toy around with so you can try it with various delays and see how your seven segment display is actually responding to it but for me five milliseconds works great and for other seven segment displays which i have tried in my uh, earlier projects have also worked with five milliseconds delay so that won't be a problem anyway you can toy around with it and uh, that's what so i display one turn it off after five milliseconds and then i display two turn it off after five milliseconds and the same thing till displaying the fourth character and i turn it off after five milliseconds and i then come back to the first character again because it is inside the while loop so one important thing to take care is if you are having some kind of code over here which delays the execution for example if you have some delay 30,000 milliseconds over here then this will definitely affect the performance of your seven segment display and uh, this flag digit here is so basically if i increment i from 0 to 1000 and display it on the seven segment display you won't be able to view it this clearly because it will be incrementing in a random fast way and um, you, we won't be visualize how fast it is incrementing and what is the character currently being on the seven segment display so what i have done is i have used a variable called flag i have incremented to 100 so only when it increments to 100 the value of i will be incremented so that's just a delay i have used to show you people how it is working that's not mandatory over here so that's it guys this is how the seven segment display works in our next project we'll see how to use adc with pic microcontroller we'll use a potentiometer to vary a voltage of 0 to 5 and then we'll use this seven segment character to display the value of the variable voltage onto this so thank you thank you for watching